Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday, and it is bargain beer review time once again. But before we get cracking on the beer, a couple of uh, life's uh, pondering questions for you. Um, does such thing as a yeti roam the mountains of the Himalayas? And if a fool and his money are easily parted, how does the fool get the money in the first place? Anyway, up today we have a right bargain. This is from the Shipyard Brewing Company. It's Blue Fin Stout. Now I got this from um, shop B and M here in the UK, which is a bargain chain of um, like supermarket hardware type shops. This tips the scales at 4.7% ABV, and it's a 350 ml bottle. Now it's actually an import bottle as well, which makes it even more special. Um, imported the American craft beer. Now, this cost me, you're waiting for this, 60 English pence for that bottle. And that works out, I've got it on a little label here on the back, an equivalent of 84 pence for a half litre. I think that's just about the best bargain beer I've had here on Thursday Thursday that I've had to pay for. Anyway, let's give it a pop. Got it out of the fridge maybe three quarters of an hour ago, an hour ago. Ooh. A little bit of can smoke, fantastic top on that. There you go. Now, here in the UK, I often work in a place called Basingstoke, which is in um, like the M25 part of, uh, of, of the UK. And um, I sometimes visit a place in the evenings for food because the hotel's up the road called The Hoggett. Hoggett often have shipyard ales on their, uh, on their house ales in there, which is a quite a nice pub for gastro food and some craft beers and uh, um, yeah I'll put a little link to them down down below actually just in case you are in that in the UK in that part of the world and uh, yeah have a look glass bit different this is me Jeremiah weed but let's give this a pour light carbonation in that already Ooh, look at that that looks like a it's like I'm pouring a glass of Coca-Cola, doesn't it? And now, if my maths are right, yeah, it just fits in under the mill. And there she is once again. Right then, colour-wise, that the light's not too bad in here. That is a, I'll say that's a very, very dark brown, not quite jet black. Um, I haven't got the old torch here to do the old infamous torch test, but. Yeah, colour wise, you can see that. You can't see through it anyway. Let's go in for a sniff. Heads dissipated. I'm just wondering in hindsight if that was my naff pouring or if I should have used a um, nucleated glass. But let's go in for a sniff. Well, oh, off that, it's. Yes, you get some caramel, but it's like a caramel coffee combination. And the biggest compliment I can pay that is, imagine if you get some weird and wonderful caramel coffee at Starbucks or Costa Coffee or whatever it is, your, your, your local franchise of coffee shops is. That's what it sort of smells like. Very, very interesting. Right, let's go in for a drink. Cheers, everyone. You immediately get the dark roast of the malts. Very, very, maybe a faint bit of licorice, but that is all like coffee to me, and it's it's like a mild coffee as well. It's quite it's quite light on the carbonation. Flows down very very easily. I hate hasten to add. Um, mouthfeel is sort of light to medium, um, maybe. In the initial mouthful, it can be gassy, but when in a split second, the gas goes almost as it hits the tongue. Um, but that is an interesting beer. The flavour, that... I probably can't describe it all that well in there, but I'm, I'm trying to think at Starbucks, not cappuccino. Maybe a... Not an Americana. Maybe a mocha. That It's got that sort of taste to it. Now, 
Um, you know, overall, would I buy that again? I think I would. I think for that price, if you didn't buy one again, I think you you sort of cuckoo for cocoa puffs. But that you can see that as well, quite nice artwork. That was an absolute bargain. I say sixty pence, or works out to eighty four pence for for a half litre. B and M's. If you see one, seriously, go and pick one up. I think it probably. I had something years ago in. I think I was in Chicago at the time, and um, it was St Patrick's weekend, and the um, although everything was like dye green, they put green in the Guinness and various stouts there for the tourists and and a, and a few locals of course, but it um, you had some American craft ale, ale well stout versions of Guinness or Murphy's or like. And they badged them as like, um, um, I think it was like Irish Darks or Irish Stouts. But uh, the Irish Dark, that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Score-wise, oh, I think that's a consistent 7 out of 10. Yeah, 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you again soon for another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Be seeing you.